Quantum tunneling or tunneling see spelling differences is the quantum mechanical phenomenon where a particle passes through a potential barrier that it classically cannot surmount. This plays an essential role in several physical phenomena, such as the nuclear fusion that occurs in main-sequence stars like the Sun. It has important applications to modern devices such as the tunnel diode, quantum computing, and the scanning tunneling microscope. The effect was predicted in the early 20th century, and its acceptance as a general physical phenomenon came mid century. Fundamental quantum mechanical concepts are central to this phenomenon, which makes quantum tunneling one of the novel implications of quantum mechanics. Quantum tunneling is projected to create physical limits to the size of transistors, due to electrons being able to tunnel past them if the transistors are too small. Tunneling is often explained in terms of the Heisenberg uncertainty principle that the quantum object can be known as a wave or as a particle in general. History Quantum tunneling was developed from the study of radioactivity, which was discovered in 1896 by Henri Becquerel. Radioactivity was examined further by Marie Curie and Pierre Curie, for which they earned the Nobel Prize in Physics in 1903. Ernest Rutherford and Egan Schweidler studied its nature, which was later verified empirically by Friedrich Kohlrausch. The idea of the half-life and the possibility of predicting decay was created from their work. In 1901, Robert Francis Earhart, while investigating the conduction of gases between closely spaced electrodes using the Michelson interferometer to measure the spacing, discovered an unexpected conduction regime. J. J. Thomson commented that the finding warranted further investigation. In 1911 and then 1914, then-graduate student Franz Rother, employing Earhart's method for controlling and measuring the electrode separation but with a sensitive platform galvanometer, directly measured steady field emission currents. In 1926, Rother, using a still newer platform galvanometer of sensitivity 26 pico amperes, measured the field emission currents in a hard Vacuum between closely spaced electrodes. Quantum tunneling was first noticed in 1927 by Friedrich Hund when he was calculating the ground state of the double well potential and independently in the same year by Leonid Mandelstam and Mikhail Leontovich in their analysis of the implications of the then new Schrödinger wave equation for the motion of a particle in a confining potential of a limited spatial extent. Its first application was a mathematical explanation for alpha decay, which was done in 1928 by George Gamow who was aware of the findings of Mandelstam and Leontovich and independently by Ronald Gurney and Edward Condon. The two researchers simultaneously solved the Schrödinger equation for a model nuclear potential and derived a relationship between the half-life of the particle and the energy of emission that depended directly on the mathematical probability of tunneling. After attending a seminar by Gamow, Max Born recognized the generality of tunneling. He realized that it was not restricted to nuclear physics, but was a general result of quantum mechanics that applies to many different systems. Shortly thereafter, both groups considered the case of particles tunneling into the nucleus. The study of semiconductors and the development of transistors and diodes led to the acceptance of electron tunneling in solids by 1957. The work of Leo Asaki, Ivar Giaver and Brian Josephson predicted the tunneling of superconducting Cooper pairs, for which they received the Nobel Prize in Physics in 1973. In 2016, the quantum tunneling of water was discovered. <laughs> Introduction to the concept Quantum tunneling falls under the domain of quantum mechanics, the study of what happens at the quantum scale. This process cannot be directly perceived, but much of its understanding is shaped by the microscopic world, which classical mechanics cannot adequately explain. To understand the phenomenon, particles attempting to travel between potential barriers can be compared to a ball trying to roll over a hill. Quantum mechanics and classical mechanics differ in their treatment of this scenario. Classical mechanics predicts that particles that do not have enough energy to classically surmount a barrier will not be able to reach the other side. Thus, a ball without sufficient energy to surmount the hill would roll back down. Or, lacking the energy to penetrate a wall, it would bounce back reflection or in the extreme case, bury itself inside the wall absorption. In quantum mechanics, these particles can, with a very small probability, tunnel to the other side, thus crossing the barrier. Here, the ball could, in a sense, borrow energy from its surroundings to tunnel through the wall or 
roll over the hill, paying it back by making the reflected electrons more energetic than they otherwise would have been. The reason for this difference comes from the treatment of matter in quantum mechanics as having properties of waves and particles. One interpretation of this duality involves the Heisenberg uncertainty principle, which defines a limit on how precisely the position and the momentum of a particle can be known at the same time. This implies that there are no solutions with a probability of exactly zero or one, though a solution may approach infinity if, for example, the calculation for its position was taken as a probability of one, the other, i.e. its speed, would have to be infinity. Hence, the probability of a given particle's existence on the opposite side of an intervening barrier is non-zero, and such particles will appear on the other a semantically difficult word in this instance side with a relative frequency proportional to this probability. The tunneling problem The wave function of a particle summarizes everything that can be known about a physical system. Therefore, problems in quantum mechanics center on the analysis of the wave function for a system. Using mathematical formulations of quantum mechanics, such as the Schrödinger equation, the wave function can be solved. This is directly related to the probability density of the particle's position, which describes the probability that the particle is at any given place. In the limit of large barriers, the probability of tunneling decreases for taller and wider barriers. For simple tunneling barrier models, such as the rectangular barrier, an analytic solution exists. Problems in real life often do not have one, so, semi-classical, or quasi-classical, methods have been developed to give approximate solutions to these problems, like the WKB approximation. Probabilities may be derived with arbitrary precision, constrained by computational resources, via Feynman's path integral method, such precision is seldom required in engineering practice. Related phenomena There are several phenomena that have the same behavior as quantum tunneling, and thus can be accurately described by tunneling. Examples include the tunneling of a classical wave-particle association, evanescent wave coupling the application of Maxwell's wave equation to light and the application of the non-dispersive wave equation from acoustics applied to waves on strings. Evanescent wave coupling, until recently, was only called tunneling in quantum mechanics, now it is used in other contexts. These effects are modeled similarly to the rectangular potential barrier. In these cases, there is one transmission medium through which the wave propagates that is the same or nearly the same throughout, and a second medium through which the wave travels differently. This can be described as a thin region of medium B between two regions of medium A. The analysis of a rectangular barrier by means of the Schrödinger equation can be adapted to these other effects provided that the wave equation has traveling wave solutions in medium A but real exponential solutions in medium B. In optics, medium A is a vacuum while medium B is glass. In acoustics, medium A may be a liquid or gas and medium B a solid. For both cases, medium A is a region of space where the particle's total energy is greater than its potential energy and medium B is the potential barrier. These have an incoming wave and resultant waves in both directions. There can be more mediums and barriers, and the barriers need not be discrete. Approximations are useful in this case. Topic: <laughs> Applications. Tunneling occurs with barriers of thickness around 1 to 3 nanometers and smaller, but is the cause of some important macroscopic physical phenomena. For instance, tunneling is a source of current leakage in very large-scale integration VLSI electronics and results in the substantial power drain and heating effects that plague high-speed and mobile technology. It is considered the lower limit on how small computer chips can be made. Tunneling is a fundamental technique used to program the floating gates of flash memory, which is one of the most significant inventions that have shaped consumer electronics in the last two decades. Nuclear fusion in stars Quantum tunneling is essential for nuclear fusion in stars. Temperature and pressure in the core of stars are insufficient for nuclei to overcome the Coulomb barrier in order to achieve a thermonuclear fusion. However, there is some probability to penetrate the barrier due to quantum tunneling. 
Though the probability is very low, the extreme number of nuclei in a star generates a steady fusion reaction over millions or even billions of years, a precondition for the evolution of life in insulation habitable zones. Radioactive decay Radioactive decay is the process of emission of particles and energy from the unstable nucleus of an atom to form a stable product. This is done via the tunneling of a particle out of the nucleus and electron tunneling into the nucleus as electron capture. This was the first application of quantum tunneling and led to the first approximations. Radioactive decay is also a relevant issue for astrobiology as this consequence of quantum tunneling is creating a constant source of energy over a large period of time for environments outside the circumstellar habitable zone where insulation would not be possible subsurface oceans or effective. <laughs> Astrochemistry in interstellar clouds By including quantum tunneling, the astrochemical syntheses of various molecules in interstellar clouds can be explained such as the synthesis of molecular hydrogen, water ice, and the prebiotic important formaldehyde. <laughs> quantum biology Quantum tunneling is among the central non-trivial quantum effects in quantum biology. Here it is important both as electron tunneling and proton tunneling. Electron tunneling is a key factor in many biochemical redox reactions photosynthesis, cellular respiration as well as enzymatic catalysis while proton tunneling is a key factor in spontaneous mutation of DNA. Spontaneous mutation of DNA occurs when normal DNA replication takes place after a particularly significant proton has defied the odds in quantum tunneling in what is called proton tunneling. Quantum biology. A hydrogen bond joins normal base pairs of DNA. There exists a double well potential along a hydrogen bond separated by a potential energy barrier. It is believed that the double well potential is asymmetric with one well deeper than the other so the proton normally rests in the deeper well. For a mutation to occur, the proton must have tunneled into the shallower of the two potential wells. The movement of the proton from its regular position is called a tautomeric transition. If DNA replication takes place in this state, the base pairing rule for DNA may be jeopardized causing a mutation. Per Olov Loden was the first to develop this theory of spontaneous mutation within the double helix quantum bio. Other instances of quantum tunneling induced mutations in biology are believed to be a cause of aging and cancer. Topic: Cold emission Cold emission of electrons is relevant to semiconductors and superconductor physics. It is similar to thermionic emission, where electrons randomly jump from the surface of a metal to follow a voltage bias because they statistically end up with more energy than the barrier, through random collisions with other particles. When the electric field is very large, the barrier becomes thin enough for electrons to tunnel out of the atomic state, leading to a current that varies approximately exponentially with the electric field. These materials are important for flash memory, vacuum tubes, as well as some electron microscopes. Topic: <inaudible> Tunnel junction. A simple barrier can be created by separating two conductors with a very thin insulator. These are tunnel junctions, the study of which requires understanding of quantum tunneling. Josephson junctions take advantage of quantum tunneling and the superconductivity of some semiconductors to create the Josephson effect. This has applications in precision measurements of voltages and magnetic fields, as well as the multijunction solar cell. <laughs> quantum dot cellular automata QCA is a molecular binary logic synthesis technology that operates by the inter-island electron tunneling system. This is a very low power and fast device that can operate at a maximum frequency of 15 pHz. <laughs> Topic. Tunnel diode Diodes are electrical semiconductor devices that allow electric current flow in one direction more than the other. 
The device depends on a depletion layer between N-type and P-type semiconductors to serve its purpose. When these are very heavily doped, the depletion layer can be thin enough for tunneling. Then, when a small forward bias is applied, the current due to tunneling is significant. This has a maximum at the point where the voltage bias is such that the energy level of the P and N conduction bands are the same. As the voltage bias is increased, the two conduction bands no longer line up and the diode acts typically, because the tunneling current drops off rapidly. Tunnel diodes can be created that have a range of voltages for which current decreases as voltage is increased. This peculiar property is used in some applications, like high speed devices where the characteristic tunneling probability changes as rapidly as the bias voltage. The resonant tunneling diode makes use of quantum tunneling in a very different manner to achieve a similar result. This diode has a resonant voltage for which there is a lot of current that favors a particular voltage, achieved by placing two very thin layers with a high energy conductance band very near each other. This creates a quantum potential well that has a discrete lowest energy level. When this energy level is higher than that of the electrons, no tunneling will occur, and the diode is in reverse bias. Once the two voltage energies align, the electrons flow like an open wire. As the voltage is increased further tunneling becomes improbable and the diode acts like a normal diode again before a second energy level becomes noticeable. <laughs> Tunnel field effect transistors A European research project has demonstrated field effect transistors in which the gate channel is controlled via quantum tunneling rather than by thermal injection, reducing gate voltage from approximately 1 volt to 0.2 volts and reducing power consumption by up to 100 times. If these transistors can be scaled up into VLSI chips, they will significantly improve the performance per power of integrated circuits. Quantum conductivity While the Drude model of electrical conductivity makes excellent predictions about the nature of electrons conducting in metals, it can be furthered by using quantum tunneling to explain the nature of the electron's collisions. When a free electron wave packet encounters a long array of uniformly spaced barriers the reflected part of the wave packet interferes uniformly with the transmitted one between all barriers so that there are cases of 100% transmission. The theory predicts that if positively charged nuclei form a perfectly rectangular array, electrons will tunnel through the metal as free electrons, leading to an extremely high conductance, and that impurities in the metal will disrupt it significantly. <laughs> <laughs> Scanning tunneling microscope The scanning tunneling microscope STM, invented by Gerd Binnig and Heinrich Rohrer, may allow imaging of individual atoms on the surface of a material. It operates by taking advantage of the relationship between quantum tunneling with distance. When the tip of the STM's needle is brought very close to a conduction surface that has a voltage bias, by measuring the current of electrons that are tunneling between the needle and the surface, the distance between the needle and the surface can be measured. By using piezoelectric rods that change in size when voltage is applied over them the height of the tip can be adjusted to keep the tunneling current constant. The time varying voltages that are applied to these rods can be recorded and used to image the surface of the conductor. STMs are accurate to 0.001 nm, or about 1% of atomic diameter. Topic. Kinetic isotope effect. In chemical kinetics, the substitution of a light isotope of an element with a heavier one typically results in a slower reaction rate. This is generally a tribute to differences in the zero-point vibrational energies for chemical bonds containing the lighter and heavier isotopes and is generally modeled using transition state theory. However, in certain cases, very large isotope effects are observed that cannot be accounted for by a semi-classical treatment of kinetic isotope effects, and quantum tunneling through the energy barrier is invoked. R. P. Bell has developed a modified treatment of Arrhenius kinetics that is commonly used to model this phenomenon. <laughs> Faster than light Some physicists have claimed that it is possible for spin zero particles to travel faster than the speed of light when tunneling. 
This apparently violates the principle of causality, since there will be a frame of reference in which it arrives before it has left. In 1998, Francis E. Lowe reviewed briefly the phenomenon of zero time tunneling. More recently experimental tunneling time data of phonons, photons, and electrons have been published by Gunter Nimtz. Other physicists, such as Herbert Winfell, have disputed these claims. Winfell argues that the wavepacket of a tunneling particle propagates locally, so a particle can't tunnel through the barrier non-locally. Winfell also argues that the experiments that are purported to show non-local propagation have been misinterpreted. In particular, the group velocity of a wavepacket does not measure its speed, but is related to the amount of time the wavepacket is stored in the barrier. Mathematical discussions of quantum tunneling The following subsections discuss the mathematical formulations of quantum tunneling. The Schrödinger equation The time-independent Schrödinger equation for one particle in one dimension can be written as minus 2 2 m d 2 d x 2 psi x plus v x psi x equals e psi x Display style frac h bar caret two two meters frac d caret two dx caret two psi x plus v x psi x equals e psi x or d two d x two psi x equals two m two v x minus e psi x 2 m 2 m x psi x Display style frac d caret two dx caret two psi x equals frac two meters h bar caret two left v x e right psi x equiv frac two meters h bar caret two m x psi x, where display style h bar is the reduced Planck's constant, m is the particle mass, x represents distance measured in the direction of motion of the particle, ψ is the Schrödinger wave function, v is the potential energy of the particle measured relative to any convenient reference level, e is the energy of the particle that is associated with motion in the x-axis measured relative to v, and m x is a quantity defined by v x e which has no accepted name in physics. The solutions of the Schrödinger equation take different forms for different values of x, depending on whether m x is positive or negative. When m x is constant and negative, then the Schrödinger equation can be written in the form d 2 d x 2 psi x equals 2 m 2 m x psi x equals minus k 2 psi x w h e r e k 2 equals minus 2 m 2 m Display style frac d caret two dx caret two psi x equals frac two meters h bar caret two m x psi x equals k caret two psi x mathrm where k caret two equals frac two meters h bar caret two m. The solutions of this equation represent traveling waves with phase constant plus k or k. Alternatively, if m x is constant and positive, then the Schrödinger equation can be written in the form d 2 d x 
2 psi x equals 2 m 2 m x psi x equals kappa 2 psi x w h e r e kappa 2 equals 2 m 2 m display style frac d caret 2 dx caret 2 psi x equals frac 2 meters h bar caret 2 m x psi x equals kappa caret 2 psi x mathrm where kappa caret 2 equals frac 2 meters h bar caret 2 m the solutions of this equation are rising and falling exponentials in the form of evanescent waves. When m x varies with position, the same difference in behavior occurs, depending on whether m x is negative or positive. It follows that the sign of m x determines the nature of the medium, with negative m x corresponding to medium A as described above and positive m x corresponding to medium B. It thus follows that evanescent wave coupling can occur if a region of positive m x is sandwiched between two regions of negative m x, hence creating a potential barrier. The mathematics of dealing with the situation where m x varies with x is difficult, except in special cases that usually do not correspond to physical reality. A discussion of the semi-classical approximate method, as found in physics textbooks, is given in the next section. A full and complicated mathematical treatment appears in the 1965 monograph by Froman and Froman noted below. Their ideas have not been incorporated into physics textbooks, but their corrections have little quantitative effect. The WKB approximation The wave function is expressed as the exponential of a function psi x equals e phi x Display style psi x equals e caret phi x, where phi x plus phi x two equals two m two v x minus e Display style phi x plus phi x caret two equals frac two meters h bar caret two left v x e right phi x display style phi x is then separated into real and imaginary parts phi x equals a x plus i b x display style phi x equals a x plus i b x where a x and b x are real valued functions substituting the second equation into the first and using the fact that the imaginary part needs to be zero results in a x plus a x 2 minus b x 2 equals 2 m 2 v x minus e display style a x plus a x caret 2 b x caret 2 equals frac 2 meters h bar caret 2 left v x e right to solve this equation using the semi classical approximation each function must be expanded as a power series in Display style h b a r. From the equations, the power series must start with at least an order of minus one. Display style h b a r caret minus one. To satisfy the real part of the equation, for a good classical limit starting with the highest power of Planck's constant possible is preferable, which leads to a x equals one k equals 0 infinity k a k 
K X Display style A X equals FRAC one H B A R sum underscore K equals zero carrot in T H B A R carrot K A underscore K X and B X equals one K equals zero infinity K B K X Display style b x equals frac one h b a r sum underscore k equals zero caret in t h b a r caret k b underscore k x with the following constraints on the lowest order terms a zero x two minus b zero x two equals Two M V X minus E display style a underscore zero x caret two b underscore zero x caret two equals two meters left v x e right and a zero x b zero x equals zero Display style a underscore zero x b underscore zero x equals zero. At this point, two extreme cases can be considered. Case one: if the amplitude varies slowly as compared to the phase, a zero x equals zero. Display style a underscore zero x equals zero, and b zero x equals plus or minus 2 m e minus v x display style b underscore 0 x equals pm sqrt 2 meters left e v x right which corresponds to classical motion resolving the next order of expansion yields psi x approximately equals c e i d x 2 m 2 e minus v x plus theta 2 m 2 e minus v x Four display style psi x approximately c frac e caret i int dx sqrt frac two meters h bar caret two left e v x right plus theta sqrt four frac two meters h bar caret two left e v x right case two if the phase varies slowly as compared to the amplitude b zero x equals 0 display style b underscore 0 x equals 0 and a 0 x equals plus or minus 2 m v x minus e Display style a underscore zero x equals pm sqrt two meters left v x e right, which corresponds to tunneling. Resolving the next order of the expansion yields, psi x approximately equals c plus e plus d x two m two V x minus e plus c minus e minus d x two m two v x minus e two m two v 
x minus e 4 display style psi x approximately frac c underscore plus e caret plus int dx sqrt frac 2 meters h bar caret 2 left v x e right plus c underscore e caret int dx sqrt frac 2 meters h bar caret 2 left v x e right sqrt 4 frac 2 meters h bar caret 2 left v x e right in both cases it is apparent from the denominator that both these approximate solutions are bad near the classical turning points e equals v x display style e equals v x away from the potential hill the particle acts similar to a free and oscillating wave beneath the potential hill the particle undergoes exponential changes in amplitude by considering the behavior at these limits and classical turning points a global solution can be made. To start, choose a classical turning point x 1 x 1 and expand 2 m 2 v x minus e Display style frac 2 meters h bar caret 2 left v x e right in a power series about x 1 display style x underscore 1 2 m 2 v x minus e equals v 1 x minus x 1 plus v 2 x minus x 1 2 plus display style frac 2 meters h bar caret 2 left v x e right equals v underscore 1 x x underscore 1 plus v underscore 2 x x underscore 1 caret 2 plus c d o t s keeping only the first order term ensures linearity 2 m 2 v x minus e equals v 1 x minus x 1 display style frac 2 meters h bar caret 2 left v x e right equals v underscore 1 x x underscore 1 using this approximation the equation near x 1 display style x underscore 1 becomes a differential equation d 2 d x 2 psi x equals v 1 x minus x 1 psi x Display style frac d caret two dx caret two psi x equals v underscore one x x underscore one psi x. This can be solved using airy functions as solutions. Psi x equals c a a i v one three x minus x 1 plus c b b i v 1 3 x minus x 1 Display style psi x equals c underscore a i left sqrt three v underscore one x x underscore one right plus c underscore b by left sqrt three v underscore one x x underscore one right. Taking these solutions for all classical turning points, a global solution can be formed that links the limiting solutions. Given the two coefficients on one side of a classical turning point, the two coefficients on the other side of a classical turning point can be determined by using this local solution to connect them. 
Hence, the airy function solutions will asymptote into sine, cosine and exponential functions in the proper limits. The relationships between c theta display style c theta and c plus c minus display style c underscore plus c underscore r c plus equals 1 2 c cos theta minus pi 4 display style c underscore plus equals frac 1 2 c cos left theta frac pi 4 right and c minus equals minus c sin theta minus pi 4 display style c underscore equals c sin left theta frac pi 4 right with the coefficients found the global solution can be found therefore the transmission coefficient for a particle tunneling through a single potential barrier is t e equals e minus 2 x 1 x 2 d x 2 m 2 v x minus e Display style T E equals E carrot minus two int underscore x underscore one carrot x underscore two mathem D x S Q R T F R A C two meters H B A R carrot two left V x E right where x one x two Display style x underscore one x underscore two are the two classical turning points for the potential barrier. For a rectangular barrier, this expression is simplified to T E equals E minus two two M two V zero minus E X two minus X one equals V tilde zero minus x two minus x one display style t e equals e caret minus two sqrt frac two meters h bar caret two v underscore zero e x underscore two x underscore one equals tilde v underscore zero caret x underscore two x underscore one See also Dielectric barrier discharge Field electron emission Holstein-Herring method Proton tunneling Superconducting tunnel junction Tunnel diode Tunnel junction Quantum cloning